Whales are considered to be friendly and peaceful creatures, and in general, it's true. But even these good-natured creatures are capable of shocking and frightening anyone. Whales can cause a mini-tsunami, damage an expensive yacht, and even try to swallow people. Now you're about to find out what that's like. In this episode, I'll show you the scariest and most impressive moments of whales caught on camera. Fishermen The most unpleasant thing about whales is that they can jump out of the water without warning. In some cases, it's even difficult to predict that a huge giant is about to appear on the surface. That's what happened in the case of the New Jersey fishermen a few years ago. While sailing close to the shore, they filmed a humpback whale coming out of the water right in front of their boat. The gigantic whale flew within a few meters of the fisherman's boat and soon submerged again. The whale swamped the ship, but fortunately it did not capsize. As a kind of apology, the whale dumped a fish into the boat along with the water. But the fishermen no longer cared about the free catch. They were shocked and incredibly surprised. They couldn't stop admiring what happened and even boasted to the people on the neighboring boat that they'd filmed a unique sequence. At the same time, the fishermen were very afraid. After all, they'd lived through one of the craziest moments of their lives. Paddlers Something similar happened a couple of years later in South America. There, a huge 30-ton humpback whale jumped out of the water and somersaulted alongside some canoeists. The video was recorded by rowers practicing near Barica Beach in western Rio de Janeiro. The rowers watched the whale's tail above the water, and then the 16-meter-long sea creature jumped out of the water. When the whale fell back into the water, it made a huge splash and even created a mini-tsunami. The show was terrifying and very exciting, too. Partner When a huge whale jumps out of the water and dives back in, it's scary. It's scary even if you're in a small boat or ship at the time. And what about a whale that jumps right next to swimmers in the sea? There is such a moment in this episode. Last April, photographer Patrick Davis and his girlfriend decided to spend the day together and practiced snorkeling near the Japanese island of Okinawa. They had a great time diving and exploring the underwater world and ended up with some amazing thrills. At one point, a whale jumped out of the water a few meters from the couple. When he landed again, he touched the moment of the lovers and made them scream. I don't know if it was from fear or pleasure. In any case, the moment was a bit creepy because anyone would feel uncomfortable with something like that next to them. Like a building The next seemed, however, less fortunate. In 2015, as tourists, they were watching whales swim around their kayaks. Suddenly, one of the whales jumped out of the water, but next to his kayak and landed right next to it. Experts later estimated that the giant whale could have weighed 40 tons. Imagine what it feels like when such a giant falls next to you. The tourists were lucky that the giant did not fall on them, but they were still swept away by the water. Fortunately, this was the worst part. The tourists were soon able to get out of the water, and soon after, they were sure that they'd not suffered any injuries. They explained their terrifying experience succinctly. They said that at that moment, they felt as if a huge building had collapsed right next to them. Offshore you need even closer contact. Well, there's one in this episode. If the previous tourists were lucky not to be hit by the carcass of a whale, the next two kayakers were lucky. This incident took place in California a couple of years ago when a whale nearly swallowed two kayakers off the coast. The animal suddenly jumped out of the water, its mouth open and capsized the boat. By a happy coincidence, the unusual incident was caught on video by tourists who were underwater whale watching at Nabila Beach. After the whale capsized the boat, the birds began to fly over them in great numbers. The recording cuts off at this point, but don't worry, according to eyewitnesses, other vacationers immediately came to help the kayakers. Fortunately, no one was injured as a result of the terrifying incident. Later, the kayakers and other tourists said that in the future they intend to observe the large marine mammals only from a safe distance. On the ship Sometimes whales can attack a person or approach a ship by jumping out of the water, but there are also more extreme moments. 
In 2010, for example, some photographers almost became victims of the objects of their observation. They were sailing near the South African city of Cape Town. When a 10-meter-long southern right whale jumped onto his yacht, Paloma Warner and her mate, Rolf de Ella, watched in horror as the gigantic whale surged out of the water and landed on top of the ship, breaking the mast. Fortunately, the whale was not very strong. It missed the center of the boat and soon slipped back into the water. How lucky they are! Paloma and Ralph were not injured. The southern right whale did not hit them, but the mast had to be repaired. The couple paid about $10,000 for the repairs. Meeting with the Surfers There are other ways that whales can scare people. They don't have to jump out of the water or break masts to worry people. Sometimes it's enough to swim under a group of people. And indeed, when you see the huge shadow of a giant below you, you go in or you're in the water, you feel uncomfortable. It happened a couple of years ago in California. In Southern California, a teenager's flip caught a huge sea creature approaching a group of open ocean surfers while they were in the water. The marine mammals slowly swam up to the people and greeted them, launching a fountain of water in a friendly way. The surfers could only watch the whale's actions for fear of swimming away. Only one man in the group immediately stepped away as the underwater creatures swam right under his board. There were no jumps. A few minutes later, the unexpected guest disappeared into the depths of the ocean. The fact that whales are large creatures that can be frightened by their appearance alone is known to all. But what else can be said about whales? In fact, there are many things. Why not do it? Stay tuned because in half this episode, I'll share with you some unusual, interesting, and even strange facts about the biggest giants of the world ocean. Awesome. Wait. Everyone knows the incredible length and weight of the blue whale, the largest creature on the planet. But did you know that much of the blue whale's body mass is fat? I'm talking about tens of tons, because a blue whale can easily weigh more than 150 tons. The blue whale stores fat during the summer for three to four months, consuming up to three tons of food daily. Surprisingly, he consumes several million calories each day. However, during the remaining eight or nine months, the blue whale can eat almost nothing, maintaining its vital functions thanks to the accumulated fat reserves. In the past, when whalers slaughtered a blue whale, they always rushed to slaughter it quickly for the very reason that its blubber lost value very quickly. The huge body cools slowly, and after a day, the fat begins to boil, literally losing its properties. Babies Not only the size of the adult blue whale, but also that of its calves is surprising. Blue whale calves are the largest in the world. Once born, they can boast unreal sizes. The newborn calf is almost 9 meters long and weighs between 2 and 3 tons, but it can be more. Blue whale calves grow very quickly. Each day it adds 40 to 50 kilograms of weight, and in about six months it grows to 16 meters and gains about 23 tons of weight, which is equivalent to the size of an average adult sperm whale. This size and rate of growth is due to her mother, who feeds her abundantly with high-fat milk, 50%. By the way, for this reason, whale milk is more like toothpaste than ordinary cow's milk. The appetite of blue whale calves is very large. A calf can consume up to 90 to 100 liters of milk per day. Dimensions in the past Today, the average size of an adult blue whale is about 30 to 33 meters, which is roughly equivalent to the height of a 10-story building. That's very impressive. But scientists claim that blue whales used to be even bigger. According to them, about 100 to 150 years ago, blue whales could reach much larger sizes. But why did the whale shrink? Scientists believe that it was not so much because the whalers killed the largest ones and the youngest had not yet had time to grow. The fact is that the extermination of the largest whales has caused the population to decline. This is directly about evolution. The fittest survive, and in the case of blue whales, large individuals were more often targeted by hunters because they were enviable prey. Singing Whales are interesting not only because of their incredible size, but also because of their fondness for singing. They are the true singers of the marine world. The songs of the whales will consist of complex combination of screams, howls, and moans. Curiously, their song can last for hours. 
Whale songs are a sequence of sounds with patterns. Its complexity is thought to require learning from other whales. However, some scientists believe that this is not entirely true and that isolated populations are capable of playing similar and even identical songs. The main vocalists among the whales are the blue whale, the bowhead whale, the humpback whale, and the sperm whale. But why do whales sing? There's no point of life on this, but some scientists believe that whales use their songs as sonar. By sending a signal, they read information about the obstacles that are in the way. Well, folks, that's the end of this video. We hope, as always, that it's been to your liking. If you liked it, give us a like, leave us your valuable comment, share on your social networks, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell so that you're always notified when we have a new video. And in that way, you won't miss any of our stories. For now, we only have to invite you to join us in the next one.